Hi DIYers, Sterling from Alarm Grid here. Today we're going to show you how to program a Honeywell 5800 RPS recessed plunger switch contact. So most of the contacts that we've shown you are uh, using a reed switch inside of the wireless transmitter and a magnet. When the magnet is close to the reed switch, the zone is happy. When the magnet's pulled away from the reed switch, the contact activates and faults or trips an alarm if the system is armed. This is a very different type of sensor. All it has is a contact with a plunger switch. So you use this in a door or in a window, and uh, it's a recess mount, so different than a surface mount. Uh, you actually drill it in, and it's hidden when the door or window is closed. Instead of using a magnet, what it does is has a little switch activation inside. When the door is closed, the plunger is closed, and the zone is happy. When the door opens, the plunger pops out, trips the alarm. So this is nice when you don't want to drill into your door or your window for the magnet and you can just get away with just a simple piece in the frame. Um, this is an antenna. You want to make sure that when you install this that the antenna is extended and not bunched up or coiled up because that will reduce the range. Uh, typically in your frame you're going to have just open wall once you get past your studs. So just make sure you drill through and install it so that it's all the way stretched out. So that's how the 5800 RPS works. Um, one piece of uh, note there, uh, we, we normally do like to recommend the 5800 Micra or the 5818 MNL if you're going to go with a wireless recess sensor. The reason is when the contact and the magnet works, it's, it's more reliable. Uh, this plunger switch, because it is uh, on a spring, after so many activations, you know, maybe thousands, but eventually this may stick. So when your door opens, this doesn't pop out the way it should. Therefore, your zone uh, would not be happy um, or, or would not know that the alarm went off. Um, so again, it, it is reliable, um, but if you're looking at recess, um, we, we would urge you to consider the 5818 MNL or the 5800 Micra instead. If you are going to go with the 5800 RPS, we're going to show you how to program it in now. So we've got our battery installed. It's ready to be programmed. From our home screen, we're going to hit more and then tools. We're going to enter our installer code, default 4112. Go into program, shows system programming at the top. Go to our zone screen, and we're going to scroll down to our first available new zone. Always skipping zone one, that's our hardwired zone. We're not using that with the Lynx Touch. Zone 14 is our first available zone. Toggle it, click edit. We're going to use this on our garage door. And the first thing we want to do is learn in the serial number. On the 5800 RPS, since it's a smaller contact, they put the barcode sticker with the serial number on the antenna. And you can see here, it's got the A for alpha, and then your seven digit number, 0411761. Toggle into serial number. You can either key in that seven digit number, 041, or easier than that, you can do the auto enroll mode. So what you do is you activate the sensor three times. So we're going to have our plunger switch pushed down. We're going to open our door once, beeps, close our door, open it again, learns in automatically the serial number and the loop. You always want to use loop number one for a 5800 RPS. And then a third activation, close our door, open it, saves in that information, takes us back to our zone screen. So now that we've got it learned in, we want to name it. So instead of just zone 14 going off and us having to remember that's our garage door, we can name it that. So we toggle in here. We've got our uh, keypad and we're going to choose from the available library. Gallery. We're going to enter a G to get to our G words. Garage. We're going to scroll down with the down arrow. You can scroll through all of the yeah. available G words. We happen garage. to want garage, so we're going to save garage. We only have one garage door. So we're going to leave it just with zone description 1 and device type, choose door. So it'll actually speak garage and door. We know when that zone is tripped. Response type, because this is our garage door, this is the door that we use to come into the house when the system is armed. Therefore, when we choose our response type and we're going to choose between perimeter or entry exit 1, we want to choose entry exit 1. By doing that, what we're telling the system is give me a delay when I activate this zone, give me my program 30 seconds to get to my keypad and turn my system off. 
That way uh, you're not tripping an alarm every time you're coming home. So we have entry exit one. That should only be used for doors that you use when the system is armed because you don't want to give a criminal an extra 30 seconds to break into your home before the alarm goes off if it's say the back door or door you're not going to use when the system is armed. After that, we want to choose alarm report should be yes. That means that our system is monitored. If this zone is activated, we want that to go to our central station. Chime, we want that to be on, yes, which means if the door opens, even when the system is off, the panel will beep, we'll know that that door was open. And finally, we want it to be supervised. We want to know if the battery goes low or if this loses signal from the receiver in the panel. So with all those settings in there, we click save. back out to the home screen and our 5800 RPS is learned in. We can simulate the door closing, zone is happy, door opens, Garage door. we have a fault, the, zone, the system will not let us arm because it wants to let us know hey you have a, a, uh, a zone that is breached right now. As soon as you close the door, push in the sensor, system is happy, ready to arm. So that is how you program your 5800 RPS. Please let us know if you have any questions in the comments section below. And make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all new DIY videos that we release.